with 6 News at 6. Fall is here, and that means Election Day is quickly approaching. And today, a set of new polls shines light on a number of major races and issues on the ballot, including abortion. It's our top story tonight at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. Lauren Thompson is off. It's one of the hottest topics on this year's ballot, the question of reproductive rights in Michigan's Constitution. Six News reporter Luke Snyder is here for you now with what both sides are saying and what poll results are telling us on where Michiganders stand today. That's right, Sherry. Proposal 3 will decide the future of legal access to abortion in the state. A new poll show 64% of voters support the proposal, but right to life leaders say they are concerned about how the proposal is written. This is extraordinarily broad, very vague, very confusing language. Genevieve Martin is the legislative director for Right to Life of Michigan. She says there are aspects of Proposal 3 that should make voters pause. If you read the actual language that they want to put into our Constitution permanently, um, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. What exactly do they mean by a lot of these vague terms? What is reproductive freedom? It's not defined. Current polls show where the majority of Michiganders stand. Almost two-thirds of those polled say they support Proposal 3, while about one out of four say they'd vote no. Dr. Rob Davidson says those numbers show Michiganders believe abortion is health care. These rights have been availed to Michiganders for the past 50 years like everybody else in this country and then suddenly the court in June took that away and people in Michigan are saying um, we disagree with that. Davidson was one of around 500 Michigan doctors today to file a brief in support of Governor Whitmer's lawsuit against the 1931 abortion ban. Medical decisions for Michigan patients should be made solely by patients in consultation with physicians. The government has no place in the exam room between a physician and their patient. Marnin says Proposal 3 goes beyond simply restoring Roe v. Wade. This is well beyond the status quo that was under Roe. Under Roe, we limited abortion procedures to ban them after viability. We also said only doctors can perform abortions. That's a Michigan law, which will be completely nullified by this amendment. Poll numbers also show that 45% of people said they would be more likely to vote for a candidate if they support Proposal 3. Sherry? Thank you, Luke. New 